Okay, now I'm going to try to get you to understand what's going to happen here. Let's say you're new to uh, printing and you're not sure what I'm talking about as far as knockouts, prints, and everything else. So what will happen is in the real world, not everything is manufactured using a laser printer. Laser printers are cheap as far as like they print everything out but when you go to print like a hundred thousand of something or a thousand of something it gets a little pricey at times so what we do we make plates and we roll them across paper and the, wherever you see black it's going to pick up ink ink that people make where you see black I'm going to get pure blue right here so what I have here is an example of what this looks like. Okay, so I'm going to turn these all off except for the blue. This is my first plate. It's blue ink that I mixed by hand. I threw it through there and this plate goes on this giant roll, rolls across the paper with the ink. It's a little bit more technical than that, but for right now just try to understand that that is how things are printed in mass quantity. So that is kind of what we do as professional printers. And w when you get to, you know, the printing class, you get more into that. I just show you how to do it software-wise. He'll show you how to do it physically-wise. All right, so now, uh, if I look at the next one, same rules apply. Wherever I see black, I get the richest of colors and wherever I see white I get no color whatsoever so what is this one well I can judge it and tell that's black okay what I would suggest to you is go over here and turn black on and look at it nice and the last one's going to be orange that's no apparent big deal looks just like the other one in reverse notice I have this area right here is where my blue is going to go therefore it is white that way it's pure blue so that blue gets transferred here and then here now if you notice something I used Adobe PDF print that is by far the easiest method to judge to see if things are separating out correctly. Also, you notice here I chose overprint. Now I'm going to show you something in here. If you go to print and you use Adobe PDF 8.0 and you use the output feature, notice there is an overprint black feature here also. Okay, this resolution has to deal with how many dots resolution there is on my plate. So at 71 LPI, that's pretty good. U usually I would go 100 if it's a cheaper press and 200 if it's a really nice press, of course. But I would say, you know, 100 LPI is pretty good. It'll make a nice gradient too. The rest of it I'm going to leave alone and go ahead and hit print. And if you have the old one open, it will give you an error message. So you must close that out before you print it. A way to get around that is go to printer and go to PDF, save as PDF, and you can name this something else. Let's say I name this 2 instead. I can hit save, I can hit print, and now on my desktop I should have two laid out, and it's going to give me some kind of weird error. A lot of times if you get CS3 and CS4 installed on the same computer, you're going to have that error. To get around it, 
what I'm going to do is choose CS or 9.0 instead because I chose 8 lit at the last print. One of these days I'll get to the point where I don't need both, but I like having both on the computer for some reason right now. Okay, notice 9 pulls up this little dialog. It looks like a printer. Okay, check this one. That was the last one printed because look at the date time, 8.59. All right, there we go. So that's how to use Adobe PDF printer. That's how you separate your colors to plates. Now that we got all the technical mumbo jumbo out of the way, we can have some fun. Remember, always reference this video. Always. If you're confused about knockouts, overprints, or trapping color is another way to say it too. These are traps. All right, enjoy.